channel. Today, something totally different out of the realm, but really, is it out of the realm? No, it's not. Because of today's job sites, right? When you're on today's job sites, a lot of the time, you need to inspect things, you need to check things out, and with the you know today's technology, drones, you're able to get up in the air and actually visually check, especially for you guys estimating, oh, hey, you got a roof, you're looking at a big roof. Instead of getting up on a ladder, you can just get up there with a drone, record it, get back in your vehicle, go over all that footage, give that footage to the client. Or they got Google Maps. Well, yeah, no, but you can't tell. Would no, that yeah, be just... funny though? Like if if, if like we were contractors and we were just that cheap, we would be like, yeah, well, look at your roof on Google Maps, showing yeah. it to the client, because that could well, have been used, three, like three years ago. When I used to estimate snow power, but I used to instead of going out there, we'd go to Google well, yeah, Maps. Well, yeah, because that's not going to change. Yeah. But I'm saying the, yeah, like, condition, the condition of the roof. Of your roof yeah. Here's what needs to go on. Um, so you guys, we've been using Jaws for a while now for our footage. Uh, we used Mavics. Uh, I'm a DJI, longtime DJI fan, uh, but recently I wanted something a little more simpler. This is a Mavic Pro right here that Eric's showing off, and this was our main one. We've crashed like five of them, but it's definitely a cool, good drone. But the problem was is that it just takes forever to get started, right? So in our industry, when we're out filming or when we're on a job site, and, you know, not that we go on job sites, but I'm just trying to refer it to you guys. If you're, you know, on a job site and you're saying, like, hey, i got to inspect this, it's going to take you 10 minutes to get this drone up and running. And not only that, within that 10 minutes, it's going to be doing firmware updates. It's going to be doing all kinds of things. And, and then it's going to in an all-fly zone, too, where it Right, where it won't even it, take off. You know? So it's like, you know, it's not that very much fun anymore. It's more, it's too complex, it's too crazy. Nothing against DJI, they have great drones and everything's good. So James from James and Mo Vlogs told me that he got the Alltel Evo. So I said, you know what, let's give it a gander. So right here, you guys, is the Alltel Evo. The cool thing about the Alltel Evo is it's basically like a 4K flying camera. And I know that, you know, we're not a tech channel. There's tons of people that show these drones inside and out. We're not going to give you the technicals. We're just going to show you the simplicities. In and this, this video. is the coolest thing about it. Like Dan was saying, it takes a long time to set up, set this thing. We're ready to fly within uh, probably under a minute. Yeah, right? You know? So here we go. I'm going to take it out of the box and we'll, we'll get it to fly right now. So we'll open this up. Open this up. Got 10 seconds left. Oh, oh my god, come on, hurry up, hurry up. As I rip the camera off. <laughs> that's what and I hate though. Thing, I always leave this on there. And one thing that's cool is on the controller. What is that? Oh, uh, it's on the controller, it has a screen so you can actually see, so you don't need your phone. Yes, you don't need your phone. Now you can hook up your phone. There's a place right here to hook up your phone. So that's it, you guys. It's ready to fly. Oh, this is where it's cut off the table. How cool is and that? And it just crashes and uh, I think that's really cool. And this one has what, it does not have side sensors, but it's got front and rear sensors, right? Yeah. And what's cool about this, too, is I like that home feature. Yeah, you guys, we flew it outside, and uh, basically we went far, and we just pushed the home button. And nine times out of ten, it will land exactly where it took off. What happens with the other one out of ten? Like totally somewhere else or just a little bit off? No, like ten feet off. Okay. You guys, apologize for the banging. No, no. We're in a shop right next door. we got a mechanic shop, so they're <clears throat> doing work. Yeah, but that's it. Boom, we're up and running. Now, I... Oops. What happened to that cap? I could sit here with the G DJI and show you guys, but literally, it'll be a 10-minute video just trying to get it up and running, connecting your phone. With this, boom, I got my footage. I'm up. I'm recorded. I could take the SD card out, put it in my laptop, and start going through the, uh, the footage. Um, very simple, you guys. Easy to fly. It you know has all kinds of tracking capabilities, stuff like that. But basically, right now here on Tools in Action, we're touting it for the estimator, for the construction guy, or the guy that just wants to have fun if you just want to have fun with drones and just fly this is the drone to get into don't get me wrong the dji that's the mavic pro they have like a mavic 2 and mavic air all that stuff i mean they have better features i'm sure than this but for all around price point this thing was like 12 1300 dollars with so the case thing, and everything uh, about the same okay 
with the batteries. And the batteries charge super fast, you guys. I don't know why. It's, they charge in like 20 minutes for me. And what I like about this, too, is like we flew it when it was windy outside, and it's a very stable camera. Um, so you see this thing moving around a lot, but when you actually watch the video, I mean, it was stable. Yeah, I, I took it up in a storm, and I'll show you right here. There's the drone bouncing around, and it's just very stable. Um, so I give it to Autel, you know, coming into this industry, you know, fighting with DJI to say, hey, we're going to push it over. I mean, because DJI is huge, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. But I think DJI just, it's too much, too much has gotten into it, too much complexity, um, you know, I just want a camera that flies, a 4K camera that, I mean, really, literally, I just want to be able to throw this thing out of the box, throw it up, hit a button, follow me, and it's going to follow me in sensors and all that, um, you know. Yeah, the only thing I do wish it, wish it had side sensors. Now, does it have, it's got front and rear, but does it have bottom top? No top, bottom. Has a I don't think any drone has top sensors. Okay. But I, side, I know there's side sensors. Yeah. So this just lacks top and side sensors. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, cool. Very good, you guys. Check it out. Um, don't forget, also, you guys, started a new channel called Midlife Toys. Go check it out. We're going to have Eric on there as Chevy Chase sometimes and uh, hopefully get some people over there. But uh, we're going to have cool stuff like this. And I don't know. Eric's getting a drone now. Mm-hmm. Are you really? Seriously, yeah. honest to God, you guys, this guy never talked about drones, anything like that. The other day he asked me what drone to get. I came over here today with this, and you had, we, had, we owned the Mavic. He could have that for free. But Well, no, because on my new channel, I want something cool and easy to use. Too. What's your so new channel? It's going to be a secret, because wait until the first video comes out, and then I'll go over Are you it. serious? Yep. Why? Yeah, because it's going to be badass, man. Why? Why? Because it's supposed to be fun. Badass. Badass, right. badass is a good thing. Badass dads. That's yeah. it. That's going to be his channel. All right, you guys. Peace out. Tools in action. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.